In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the error message Windows has restarted your GPU inside of League of Legends. Now, there used to be a really easy way to fix this using DX9 in the League of Legends client, but unfortunately, now League of Legends have removed this option, but there's still a few ways that we can fix this issue. So the first thing you need to do is head over to your start menu, and we're just going to search for device manager, and then head over to the device manager window. Inside of here, come over to display adapters, and then expand this drop down. And then from here, we just need to locate our graphics card so the one that i'm using is this nvidia one at the bottom here and we need to right click on this and select update driver and then come over to browse my computer for drivers click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then select your graphics card at the bottom down here and go ahead and press next once you've done that we're going to right click on our graphics card again come back into update driver press search automatically for drivers and now press search for updated drivers on windows update now this will take us to the windows update page and from here we're just going to press check for updates over here and just make sure if there are any pending updates inside of here that you install them now and once you've done that we can then close out of this window so the next thing you'll need to do is head over to your start menu and search for cmd and then right click on the command prompt and run this as an administrator. Now, another reason you could be getting this error message is due to a corrupt system file. So in order to fix that, what we need to type in here is SFC space slash scan now, and then hit enter. And this will just perform a scan of all of your core window system files. And it will just check through to make sure nothing's missing or broken. So wait for this verification here to get to 100%. And if there is an issue detected, it will be listed and repaired inside of here. You can then close out of this window. And the last thing we're gonna do is head over to our file explorer come over to your c drive inside of windows at the bottom here come down to system 32 and come inside of this folder and then using this search box at the top here we're going to type in nvl ddmk and that should bring up this file here nvl double dmkm dot sys so we need to right click on this file come over to properties inside of the security tab and inside of permissions we just need to make sure system is set to full control here so make sure there's a tick next to allow and then press apply and okay to save your changes so you need to restart your computer in order for these changes to take effect and then you can try to see if that fixes the issue now one more thing that some people have reported working for them is if you have the discord application running on your computer then if you just head over to your discord app then we can come down to user settings at the bottom here and then from the left hand side we need to scroll all the way down to this advanced tab and where it says hardware acceleration you just want to turn this off and then press OK. So that's going to go ahead and restart your Discord application. Now, this isn't a verified fix, but some people have reported this working for them. So it's definitely worth trying. And let me know in the comments if this did or didn't work. And if this video did help you, then please drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.